This is Module 5, Lesson 16, Side 2. Number 2. Partition each whole into sixths. Label each fraction. Count up as you go. Box the fractions that are located at the same points as the whole numbers. So I need to make sure that I'm partitioning them into sixths. I'm labeling the fractions and I am boxing the fractions that are whole numbers. So between the three and the four, I need to partition into sixths. I'm going to start by partitioning into thirds and then breaking those into sixths. I'll do the same thing between four and five. Partition into thirds, then break them in half to make sixths. Coming back to three, I need to make a fraction with the denominator of 6. If I multiply 3 times 6, I get 18. 18 sixths is where I will begin. If I count up, I have 19 sixths, 20 sixths, 21 sixths, 22 sixths, 23 sixths, 24 sixths, 25 sixths, 26 sixths, 27 sixths, 28 sixths, 29 sixths, and 30 sixths. I should put a box around 30 sixths because 36 is equal to 5. I should also put a box around 24 sixths because 24 sixths is equal to 4. Number 3. Partition each whole into halves. Label each fraction. Count up as you go. Box the fractions that are located at the same points as whole numbers. So again, I'm doing similar to number two, but I'm partitioning into halves, I'm labeling the fractions, and I'm boxing the fractions that are whole numbers. On your own, partition each part of the number line in half, label all the fractions, and put boxes around the fractions that are above the four, a whole number, the five, the six, and the seven. Number four, draw a number line with endpoints zero and three. Label the holes. Partition each hole into fifths. Label all the fractions from zero to three. Box the fractions that are located on the same points as whole numbers. Use a separate sheet of paper if you need more space. So first I have to draw a number line with the endpoints 0 and 3. Then I need to label the missing holes. When I'm counting, I'm missing 1, 2, and 3. That's three lines that I have to draw to represent 1, 2, and 3. Oh, I don't need to draw 3. That was my mistake. I only need to draw two lines because one is, or three is already there. So I have to do one and two. On your own, you're going to partition each portion into fifths. Then you're going to label all the fractions. You're going to put boxes around the whole number fractions. And you should have enough space on here, but if not, use another piece of paper.